Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Small Caliber Arms Review. Today we're going to take another look at the Taurus Spectrum. Alright, hold on a second there. I want you to watch the entire video and see what you think. Uh, there was a lot of extraction issues in this and I think it may be ammo related. The first three magazines I fired were all Winchester white box. They were not the, the flat point ones like I show in the video, but I got to thinking about it as I was doing the editing and it seems like all the issues I had with extraction were due to the PPU ammo. Now I've got a couple boxes here and I've taken some of the Winchester out and some of the PPU and I've compared the bases to them and it looks to me like maybe the base on the PPU is a little bit narrower and maybe that's what causes the uh, extraction issues. But anyways, continue to watch the video and let me know what you think. Watch it all the way to the end. and. Uh, let me know. And the reason why is because when I did the last video, I had a couple feed issues with the first round off a magazine. And we're going to take a look at why that may have happened and what I've done to hopefully remedy the situation. All right, first thing we're going to do is get the gun taken apart, which is really easy. Take the end of a round, turn that screw 90 degrees, slide comes right off. Again, this is not a captive unit on the spring there, so be careful when you take it out it's going to want to fly. It is a flat wound spring, uh, kind of sharp on the points there, so be careful with those. Let's get the barrel out. Now, one of the things I noticed about it was this is a round that I took out of there that I had a lot of problems with, and maybe you can see on there, right on the nose of the round, there's some little cut marks on there. And what I think has happened is when this was trying to feed off the magazine, it was hitting right up against the end of it. Now there was kind of a sharp edge right on the end of the uh, feed ramp. So I took a little file, rounded that edge off a little bit, and then polished it up with some, uh, I think it was 1000 grit sandpaper, and just kind of smoothed it out. And I went ahead and polished the feed ramp a little bit better than what the factory was. And um, I think that may have solved the issue. The another thing is when you've got a full magazine, this is a seven round magazine here and that first round is in there pretty tight. Now once you get past that first round, the rest of them come out pretty easy. There's a lot of spring tension on that top round when you've got that spring compressed all the way down there. There's a lot of tension on it forcing that up into the lips of the magazine. So hopefully with the combination of uh, uh, rounding that edge off and polishing the feed ramp, we should be able to eliminate the problem of it jamming in there and I think that was the whole issue with it and that's based off of the end of this round right here being as chewed up as it is. Let's go ahead and get it put back together we'll get it on the range give it a few tries. All right we got the little spectrum out here on the range now one of the things I did discover about this is I bought these little flat point, these are just Winchester white box, I think they're 95 grain, something like that, but they're the flat points. Those really have an issue feeding in the spectrum. The rounded ones seem to do better. Now if you're going to carry this for personal protection, you're not really going to want either one of these, you're going to want a hollow point. Now if you are going to get this gun and you are going to carry it for personal protection, I would check the ammo, try a couple boxes of it first, look for something uh, in a hollow point that has a real narrow point on it. Most of them are going to be straight sides like that instead of that rounded curve on them. But you want to get something that's going to feed in this gun reliably, this isn't it. These seem to feed okay. I've done the polishing and the shaping on the ramp there and we're going to give it a few shots of the target and see how it does. It always seems to be the first round in the magazine. Now I did take one of these and put it in like the third place, not the first round, but the third or fourth place in there and it seemed to feed okay, but I, I wouldn't bet my life on these. I would get something that's geared towards personal protection and something that will feed reliably in this gun. I normally don't like firearms that are ammo specific. I like them to eat everything you feed them, but this is not gonna be one of those guns, I feel. If you've ever picked up a copy of Recoil Magazine, they all come with a uh, little target in the center fold there. We're gonna stick this up there and give it a shot. All right, I've got a full magazine here, seven rounds in it. Ha! All right, here might be that issue. I did not have the magazine seated all the way in there. Let's try that again. Close slide, no mag. Push it all the way in. Make sure it's seated all the way in there. And it fed just fine.
I only had six rounds in there. Hmm. Let's try that again with a full magazine. It fed just fine. There was seven rounds. Magazine comes out, chamber's empty, slide locks back on the last round. Let's try the six round magazine. It's the one with the flush floor plate on it. See how that does. Okay, here's the six round magazine. Make sure it's seated all the way in there. It fed just fine. Again, locks open on the last round. Now the flush one doesn't give you quite the room you need for your pinky, but uh, it's not uncomfortable to shoot. I really like this gun. I like the looks of it. I've heard a lot of people say they can't take it serious just because of the way it looks. I mean, it's different than what we're typically, you know, see in the gun store and the shelves. They all look pretty much identical, a little different shapes and stuff. This one really stands out among them. Um, there's a lot of different colors, um, but there's other guns that are available in a lot of different colors too. But this one just has a completely unique shape to it. Uh, being smooth and rounded like it is, it's I'm not a big fan of 380. I like 9mm a lot better for a handgun, but uh, really, this is a cool gun. I like the shape of it. I like the feel of it. It fits in your pocket nicely. It's easy to conceal, and it shoots good. You just got to get that feed issue taken care of. Now, I've heard some people say they've never had any issues with it. Right out of the box and fired thousands of rounds through them and didn't have any problems. Unfortunately, this was not one of them. I took a little jeweler's file and smoothed that edge a little bit on the uh, feed ramp and polished it up some. It seems to do okay, but you got to watch the ammo you put in it because the flat nose stuff, I, I'm telling you right now, it's probably not going to feed. In fact, I'll go ahead and throw one in there for the first round and we'll see how it does. All right, I've put six rounds of PPU in here. These are 94 grain. It's a Serbian made brass cased ammo. And then I'm going to put one of the Winchester white box, 94, 95 grain, whatever they are, but it's the flat point ones. We're going to put one of those on the top there and it's going to be really tight up against there because this time it is a full magazine and it's going to have a lot of tension on it. Plus that flat nose there, I think is going to hit right up against that feed ramp. Even though I did a little bit of polishing to it, I didn't widen it any. I just rounded off that edge. Let's see how it does. Make sure it is fully seated in there like I did not do the first time. And we'll give it a try. It seemed to feed okay. I have had issues where it did not. Hey, maybe I didn't have the magazine seated all the way. But let's give it a try. That's not a good thing to have right there. That is a stovepipe right there. It did not extract the one out of the chamber and there's one right on underneath it trying to get in there should be able to kick the magazine out and it just shoved <clears throat> the spent round back in there but you can clear it and a fired round does clear out of this little ejection port pretty easy it's a full round that does not all right that one still did not want to come out it did, but let's load up another magazine and give it a try. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing again. I'm going to load six rounds of the PPU in there and then follow it with the one flat nose uh, Winchester and see how it does. It takes a little bit of force to get that seventh round in there. Uh, it's not terrible, but uh, it takes a little more pressure. And, and that might be some of the reason why there's misfeeding issues. I don't know uh, exactly, but it seemed to help a little bit when I put the uh, when I filed down the feed ramp. It is fully seated, and it did feed. Another stovepipe. All right, there's an empty magazine. When I kicked that one round out of there, the uh, stovepipe, it did eject a uh, full round too. So we'll go ahead, load that in there, give it a try. Brass come right back in my face. All right, uh, I, I like the gun. Um, is it as reliable as it needs to be for personal defense? I, I you know, probably not. Um, 
you may have one that you don't have a single issue with and I have seen people out there who have said that uh, I could probably send it back to uh, Taurus and they could probably take a look at it but I'm sure they're gonna load a magazine in there it'll probably fire fine and they'll send it back and say they didn't find anything wrong with it maybe change the recoil spring out or something who knows but um, it, it's a, a really inexpensive gun I've seen these on sale for just over a hundred dollars um, they're a good looking gun they feel pretty good too uh, I like them I don't know that I'm gonna make it my you know personal defense weapon but um, I really do like the gun it could be fun to get out there and train with and if you're gonna fire a bunch of rounds to it you may find out whether or not yours is reliable or not and uh, you may choose to carry it like I said the thing I like about it is it's small and it fits in your pocket pretty easily doesn't imprint much and there's nothing to get hung up on anything because everything is smooth there's no sharp edges on anything but um, you may choose to pick a different gun for personal defense like I said I don't know if I'm gonna use this one for personal defense but I do like the gun Another failure to extract on here. It's not looking too good. It's quite a few malfunctions in just a few rounds I've been firing. There's another one, it's getting to be annoying. Again. Uh, seldom do I have a magazine that runs through there flawlessly it seems like but um, I don't know it was clean when I started shooting today I have not fired that many rounds through it so I'm not sure if that's it or uh, you know maybe the extractor needs a little work on it or something either way I don't like a gun that you buy and right out of the box you have to do work to it so um, other than the styling of this and uh, the cost of it I don't really know that I could recommend this gun, especially with that many issues. But again, like I said, some of you have never had any problems with them, and some of you have problems like this all the time. All right, guys, there it is. That's the uh, Taurus Spectrum. That's a, a revisiting of the Taurus Spectrum. Uh, I did polish the feed ramp. It does seem to have solved the feed issue, but now there's another issue with uh, extractions. And uh, like I said, it's, it's a cool-looking little gun. I really do like the styling on it. Um, I do like the extended magazine that's in there. It only gives you one more round, but it gives you a place to put your pinky. So it's really a comfortable gun to hold on to. It just doesn't seem to be as reliable as it should be. Um, you know, maybe they'll come out with a Gen 2 on this and fix any issues they've had with it because I'm not the only person that's complained about this gun. I have heard a lot of people do it. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It's cheap. Um, it's Taurus. Some people like them, some don't. Some people never have issues with them, some do. I don't know, it's, it's tough to say, but I fired probably, I don't know, 50 rounds or so through there and had a lot of issues with it. You know, use your own judgment. But anyways, thanks for watching Small Caliber Arms Review. If you could, hit this button up here to subscribe. Check out some of my other videos over here, and thanks for watching Small Caliber Arms Review.